Hello everyone, this is Dragon 001 coming at you live from pre-recorded video. Today we are doing another redstone video, and today is actually a new thing that I um, finally figured out in the, over the night, and it's been on my mind for a while. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and now I've actually been able to figure out how to do it. And by your guess on the video thumbnail and and probably this thing behind me, yes, it is a shulker box filter and what's basically going to do is split up shulker boxes and regular items and the thought behind this is if you have a mass storage system you don't want the items to get completely backed up and you also don't want the shulker boxes messed up and sometimes you want to only have the shulker boxes in a spot and have the rest of the items in another so that you can place a shulker box and then feed items into it. Um, so this actually just opens up a lot of um, ways to kind of do stuff. You can have a, a shulker box loader, you can have a shulker box unloader, um, all for just throwing it all into one chest and not having to worry about having each shulker box, box which, and you can have them all together. And yes, I said the wrong word, botch. Hello, miss. What you mean, miss? I'm sorry, I have a cool. Well, you can't blame British Rail for that. Um, yeah. I messed up, sorry. Um, but yeah, before we get started, I'd like to do shout-out. Um, but we're gonna do a little more in-depth. So let's flip it over to the main screen. And today we're actually gonna be starting out with some shout-outs. It's uh, been a while since I've gone thoroughly through shout-outs and um, inducting people into the Tremendous Pumpkin Club, and if you don't know what the Pumpkin Club is, it was something I started a little over a year ago, where if someone was supportive of the channel, commented, maybe subscribed, or stuff like that, um, I would go and induct them into the Pumpkin Club. And we originally started out with a room that I had all of everyone's names, but now I more like state them in a video and just kind of give them a shout out. So today we're going to actually go through a couple of them that I've been neglecting and I'm sorry for that so we should make up for today. Um, first off I would like to thank Atsui75, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, um, for just saying some nice things on the last um, the waterproof redstone video. Um, we also have I'm Incredible who basically is just really cool, um, commented on a bunch of them and asked um, how the this goes, and so this prompted this one, so he's pretty much the main one that came to mind when making this. We also have Rookie, um, asking for Pocket Edition for this thing. Um, Javex Cry, of course, another one. Um, David Hayes, um, cool, as just, as, even though it was older, it just made it just much better to just still hear that people are watching, um, yeah, Ruby Dooby, he had some questions. We had um Tralala Tutata. Um I yeah, you've bested me on that name. I it's hard for me to pronounce. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I messed someone up. Um but kudos to you for making a name I can't pronounce at all. <laughs> um but yeah some cool things there. Minecraft Scientist said some nice things. Um, Matsui again. Um, speaking of which, yeah. Did, did you ever post that, um, that one printer you are talking about? Um, we have Dank Nova Gaming, which kind of helped me realize that, yeah, my recording was going to work how it used to be. Gel Postma, it's been a while since I've seen him, but hey, shout out if you're still there. Um, Rex Stone, another good one. Um, Red Corsar. Was it? Yeah. So he had his printer also. Um, Pink Piggy. Um, Bobby ISS, or LSS, I'm sorry. Um, Javex Cry again. <laughs> um, Volcanic Arts. Yeah. It's pretty cool people. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Get on with it! Whoosh. Okay. I just said whoosh. I know. I just felt like I needed that whoosh. Now that we're done with that, let's get started. So for today's video, we're going to need a couple of things. The first thing we're going to need is, of course, a chest. Um, we need a 
couple of chests, one for the input and two for the output, but you can kind of change which one you can have a mass storage, I don't care. But we're also going to need a couple repeaters. We need one repeater, actually. Yeah, we only need one repeater um, down here. Then we're going to need redstone dust, two comparators, two torches, um, a few blocks of iron. I don't know the exact count. Um, we actually don't need that. <laughs> Psych with the, uh, with the dropper. Then we need a couple of um, shulker boxes and, of course, a few hoppers, as you can see down there below. But I'm going to go through and show you how it works. So I'm going to open this up and I'm basically going to just toss, uh, let's add a couple more shulker boxes. So I'm just going to toss them all in. And I'll explain how this works um, while it's going. So what happens is, is each hopper will have one item in it as it's going through. And as it's going down and it hits this edge, then it activates this comparator and unlocks all the hoppers underneath it, dropping all the items into it. It's something that you've probably seen done with furnaces. I believe Exumavoid was the first one to do it or someone else and he copied the design um, during Hermitcraft Season 3. Then it goes down into these hoppers which will usually get locked but end up putting in here which are facing into shulker boxes so this is how it works all of the ones underneath are, are locked so what happens is, is that the shulker boxes are the priority to be put in and so what it'll try to do is put in an item into the shulker box if it can't it will drop underneath it and then go down this hopper trail and so the thought behind it is that the only thing that won't go into a shulker box, is a shulker box. How about that? You don't understand. I do. I, I understood that reference. And so that's how you actually filter out all this. And this works very similar. Um, you'll always have an item going through here. You might not have them in here or here, but you'll always have it in here because the drop, it has to hit this guy. So we're activating off of this one. And we have a slight delay. Honestly, you can extend this delay, but I have it here. So if you guys have any problems with like lag or anything like that, then this would be the thing to update. Now, if we look down here, all the shulker boxes will go into here and all of the items will go into here because um, all the items that go into the shulker box will end up here. And the only ones that can go are non shulker boxes. So this one will have the least amount of traffic unless you have more shulker boxes and items, which congratulations, I applaud you. Um, sir, insert clap video here. Um, but of course we have um, this delay, so it doesn't do much um, to change it. So let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. We're sorry. No, we're not. We're sorry we ruined Minecraft today. No, we are not. Okay, now let's go on to the tutorial. So we, so you see we have this block. This is basically, we're going to put some hoppers behind it. And this is where we decide how many shulker boxes we're going to use. So we're going to use about six here. Um, just a random number, why not? And so basically you can extend this to almost any size. You know what, why not? Yeah, yeah, six. So, the only thing that's limiting you is, of course, the the technical redstone length that can be activated, um, that pulse length. So, what we're going to do is we have this set up, as you can see. So, the thought is, is that this is here so that it doesn't interrupt with this comparator, just to let you know. And then we're going to set up all the way down here. We're going to go down like so, I believe. Yes. There we go. And we're going to take ah, hoppers, not comparators. We're going to put them down like that. And then we're going to put our 
shulker boxes right there. Put hoppers into the side of the shulker box and then put hoppers on top like that. And then what we're also going to want to do is we're also going to want to do this. Have this so it needs to be offset like that. And then we're going to take more hoppers. Hoppers into the top. And these hoppers that are going straight down are just so that we don't have different problems going on because there could be a problem where the where they'll actually get stuck inside if they get locked prematurely and they do so yeah it's a problem to have to worry about so we're gonna put this guy right here put a comparator like that so this guy's gonna read when it's hit the point where it's starting to look at the shulker boxes and then we're gonna have a comparator set to two ticks and then big long line down here cool and there you go there we have it and also for final touches put in a chest for items and we're also gonna put in a bunch of stuff and so it's gonna go through and it's gonna sort and you can see it goes down there and it sees the um, item and then it drops all of these down at once and then they go down into here where they are stuck because they can't go down any further and then they start looking immediately to the shulker box and if it can fit in the shulker box it sends it that way and it puts it in the chest by the shulker boxes if they don't then it goes down and goes down I would like to point out that there is something that happens see we have the blocks of iron here that um, moved over and the reason why this is happening is because the delay is a little funky so we're gonna need to increase and mess with this delay because it's also worked off the delay of how long it takes for this to go down to the end so we're gonna increase that delay and give it another try and see if it works then um, this is basically also a tutorial of how to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on with the design at certain points so um, that's pretty much what what to watch so you'll see it go through and so we're we're just checking to make sure that timing is just right and you might have to increase it or decrease it depending on how many hoppers you have because if you have longer hoppers then you want less of a time delay if you want if you have less hoppers then you need more of a time delay because it's just constantly running through and you need to actually think about it and there we go it's fixed so yeah that's the way to um, fix that system and so there you go and you can ad adjust this this is basically your your toolbar if it's not working adjust this guy that's pretty much my um, advice but that is going to be it for this video I hope you liked it I've put a lot of effort into this it's been a couple months project and a lot of thinking about how to make this work doing a lot of things I had this huge giant contraption that I started out with and there you go we have this little thing and I I don't think a lot of people have actually taken a crack at this um, type of system because it's so hard to actually do and now you can actually do it and if you do it's slow but this one is super super fast I feel the need the need for speed Ow! so I'm really proud of it and I hope you're proud of it too but yeah that's all I have for today Remember, please like, subscribe, comment. Give some feedbacks about um, how the new type of video styles that I'm doing. If you like it, have any suggestions or stuff like that. But remember, please leave that down below. I'm really opening up the floodgates by asking for opinions on YouTube. That's a bad idea. But yeah, there we go. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. And remember, as always, Ubedechi, Sayonara. Have a nice day. Bye. Cue outro.